Hey guys, I'm back and I'm happy to share a few innovations that are coming from Microsoft. Now I've been reading the uh, blogs that we put out and it seems that <laughs> we are just improving the hybrid workplace. Before we begin, just wanted to quickly uh, remind you, a lot of the features build on existing innovations that are already available, new ones that were recently announced maybe a couple of months back. And today, we're going to take a look at a whole new way of working with dynamic view, intelligent cameras, Outlook RSVP, companion mode, hot desking, and more. If you're working remotely, PowerPoint Cameo, uh, speaker coach, you know, also light collect, uh, correction and the large dock. Last but not least, if you're on the move with Apple CarPlay and Viva Connections, stay in touch with your organization while you're on the go. That's great. So let's get right into it so we can see where we're at. Okay, let's go to the first set of features. So uh, the one that is going to be really immersive is the is the intelligent camera. Um, you know, imagine your home and you're talking to folks who are in the office in a meeting room. And so now you can actually break out the participants in the room into your own uh, boxes and you can take away that whole panoramic view of everyone in the room. So that's really good. And so to improve on this, the dynamic views will make more real estate for these participants to appear on screen. And you'll know who's speaking in the room, especially if you turn on transcription. It'll be very easy to identify who said what. With companion mode, when you walk into these uh, meeting rooms, you could just use your phone like a remote at home and you could take control of the meeting, you know, without having to touch a shared device. So this makes it really personable to you so that you can share your PowerPoint, mute the speaker, turn on a camera and more. Now, with people in hybrid work, you know, are you in the office? Are you remote? So what's coming? And I can see this in Outlook Web Access. It's the ability to designate which days you work remotely or in the office. And when you accept meetings, uh, you can definitely also now include if you're attending in person or you'll be remote. And that helps with capacity planning with how many people are going to be on site and not for that a meeting organizer. Last but not least, hot desk. So with hot desk, uh, it's the ability for you to um, just offload that uh, audio video conferencing workload that runs on your primary device. So you can also back it up with like a reservation system. So you just walk to a desk. Uh, if it's fitted with this device, you'd be able to sign in with your own credentials, get access to your meetings, your chats, your team's channels and more. Really cool innovation in that space. So really good features for hybrid work. I'll just move into more with these other ones that we just looked at earlier. So Cameo. So, you know, I take a lot of effort to use OBS and make meetings immersive, but this makes it so much easier. Just imagine using PowerPoint, inserting your own camera in there and uh, controlling how that looks and feels all while presenting in teams with PowerPoint Live. You know, you could appear strategically in slides of importance and you could disappear in slides where they need to focus on the content. Really like this feature. So innovative, so cool, awesome. Now, if you talk fast like me sometimes, um, you know, the speaker coach will really help you slow that down. Or if you're speaking too slow, it'll help you, you know, maybe speed up a little bit. So that could give you that confidence when presenting remotely, right? And, and if you're in a poorly lit area and you need more lighting within the software, you'll be able to boost that uh, brightness with light correction. So really cool feature to be seen well. Now, when it comes to home, you know, trying to offload or trying to use or make use of headsets and mics, you know, could be cumbersome. So, so for some, uh, an all-in-one solution like the Logidoc would be amazing. It's almost, uh, like a speaker puck, I would say, but you know, more importantly, it has a dedicated Teams button on it. So it is really powerful and it combines the speaker, the microphone uh, in there as well. So really cool innovation from Logida. All right, if you're on the go, 
CarPlay. So I've been playing with CarPlay a little bit. And the first thing I learned is uh, I need to understand what commands I need to say. So it does use Siri. So you would have to, I don't want to say that too loud before she goes off here, but you would have to say, hey, Cortana, uh, you know, uh, call, uh, call my next meeting using Teams. So that's one command I know. It usually works 15 minutes before your meeting starts. Another way of saying that is, hey, Cortana, Siri, um, you know, call, uh, you know, Sean uh, using Teams. And you can actually say Sean and Tanner. So you could combine that with a group call. Really cool. Last but not least, my favorite, the connections. So finally, we're seeing this mobile like way of feeling connected to your company by sorting out your action in a dashboard like that there and sorting out your company feed so you can keep up with the times and stay relevant with the news that it's being published to you it's all uh, it's all targeted by audiences so you see what's relevant for yourself and last but not least it has resources so you can quickly get those manuals or quickly get access to information you frequently use really love that makes it really exciting to feel com uh, connected to your company. Well, that's it for me. I hopefully summarized everything uh, you saw here today. A lot of new innovations that help people, places, and improve processes along that way. So I can't wait to see these features land in your tenant. Thank you, Microsoft. This is awesome.